I was very content in the law firm that I was in practicing. I'd been there since I had clerked at the Washington Supreme Court and felt I would stay there for the rest of my career. My best friends were there. It was just an extremely comfortable place to be. And I had the opportunity to do a number of great cases there as well that would protect First Amendment freedoms. But when Baronell's case came up in Washington State, it was clear to me that it would be difficult to take on that case given the environment that we were in in Washington. And so it really was her case that God used to prompt me to consider whether I was to move somewhere else and to get into this work full time. And, and that has changed my life in ways I didn't expect. Of course, I wanted to get involved in Baronell's case um, from a legal perspective as an attorney uh, to help her. But what I didn't expect was to have someone that I deeply love and respect and to learn what it's like to face adversity, to do it with grace, and empathy. Um, I don't know that I could ever do it as well as Baronel has, but man is it an inspiration to me. And just the wisdom that she has, the deep friendship that is there, I will cherish for my whole life.